By now, you have probably heard about Samsung's much-anticipated Galaxy X. It's a 4.5-inch phone that folds out to a 7.3-inch display. It was going to be the first device launched with a foldable display, but a small startup just beat them to it with the FlexPie Mobile. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Dave, this isn't anything new. The iPhone has been bending for years. Okay, maybe not that. You're probably thinking, but why? Why are we making phones that bend? Well, here's the thing. Smartphones aren't as hot as they used to be. For the first time since 2012, smartphone sales have declined by 1%. Now, when a company is trying to push up sales and excitement, they may start releasing radical new products. The QSR Echo was a dual-screen smartphone that got lots of attention. It had two 3.5-inch screens that combined into one 4.7-inch display. We also had the Yoda Phone 2 with an always-on ink display on one side and a normal screen on the other side. Also, the LG Double Play, which offered a smaller screen and a set number keyboard for access to your app drawer. Needless to say, none of these devices started a new trend. And then, we had the Ubuntu phone, the phone that promised to be a smartphone on the go that could then be used as a full Linux desktop when docked. While this phone was never released, nerds were having wet dreams over this device. This is the market that foldable phones are trying to penetrate, the people who want the best of both worlds. Samsung's foldable phone promised to offer a typical smartphone experience when folded in half, then a richer tablet UI experience when unfolded. Apparently, they worked closely with Google to tweak the operating system to work with this device. You should be able to run three apps at a time and probably have an experience similar to Samsung DeX, their current implementation of making your phone a desktop-like experience. Still, it's going to be a hard sell to convince people to buy foldable phones. Also, how in the world are you going to put a case on this thing? Needless to say, we're going to have to wait and see how they turn out. So guys, tell me what you think about foldable phones in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely give a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.